I'm Jenny Williams and I'm a published food and nature photographer from Charlotte, North Carolina. And on this channel I share healthy and delicious vegan recipes. Today on my channel we're getting into the fall spirit and making some comforting oven roasted butternut squash soup. I will be topping it with a cashew cream swirl and some chives. This recipe is also in the fall issue of Carrie Living Magazine right here. This is a publication out of Raleigh, North Carolina, so if you live in Raleigh or the suburbs of it, you can pick this up pretty much anywhere. Yeah, I've been working with Carrie Living Magazine doing, and their sister magazine, Midtown Magazine, for about three years, and honestly, if it wasn't for Carrie Living and all my friends there giving me the opportunity, I probably would not be where I am today. I think as an artist, when you start out, you really wonder how you're going to make it, how you're going to get your work out there, how do I get noticed. It's really small opportunities like this that happen that really are a game changer. If you're interested in knowing how I got started with the magazine, um, please let me know. I'd love to share my tips for any of you that are looking to have your photography work published or to work with magazines. So please let me know in the comments if you're really interested in that and I will absolutely do a video and share my tips and tricks on how to get published. And that's all I have to say. Let's get into the video. To start off, preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Cut one butternut squash in half and then remove the seeds. Line a large baking sheet with parchment paper and place the butternut squash on top and drizzle with a little bit of olive oil and spread it out using a basting brush. And sprinkle with some salt and pepper. Flip it over and pop it in a 425 degree oven for 45 minutes until it gets nice and roasted. When it comes out of the oven, it's going to be extremely hot. And as you can see, it got really nice and brown and caramelized in the oven and the flavors have just come out and it smells amazing. While the butternut squash is cooling, which will take about 30 to 40 minutes, go ahead and cut up one shallot. Cook it on medium heat for two to three minutes. Then add two teaspoons of minced garlic and stir for a few more seconds, and then remove it from the heat. Once the squash has cooled down, it's time to take the skin off. I just use a spoon in my hand and just kind of like spoon it out into a bowl. I find this part really messy. If you know a better way, let me know. In a high-speed blender, add the shallot and onion mixture, followed by the butternut squash. Next, add a teaspoon each of maple syrup, cinnamon, ginger, and nutmeg. Next, add four cups of vegetable broth. For this soup, I prefer regular sodium. I just really like my soup salty, but you can also do low sodium. Add the soup to a large saucepan and cook on medium-high heat for about 5 to 10 minutes just to heat it up. While the soup is warming up, we're going to make a cashew cream sauce to go on top. All you need is equal parts cashews and water. I'm doing just a fourth cup cashews and a fourth cup of water. 
pour that in a high speed blender and blend until smooth and creamy. This is also great in coffee. Top the soup off with a cashew cream swirl and some chopped chives. Matt and I paired our soup with a vegan grilled cheese sandwich and it was so good. On Wednesday, I will be doing a fall YouTube collab with five other awesome vegan YouTubers. It will be all apple related recipes. So if you love apples and you love fall recipes, be sure to come back on Wednesday and check out all of our awesome videos. I hope that you have a great rest of your weekend and I will see you next